Hello my friends, this is Black Captain 8 here, and in today's video, we are going to attempt a territory takeover. Hello my friends. Live long and prosper. Okay, so we are, right now it is 7.53 my time, this begins at 8 o'clock. So right now we're sending our ships to the location, so what we have on this first one is a morale hull breach hybrid. This is my tankiest ship that I have. I want it to stay in the fight as long as possible to help pick off other, um, ships if we have to worry about them. I've got one decked out with a claw crew. This is a fairly fast ship with the Vidar. So this is Claw's captain max synergy so that he gets up to 33% impulse speed. I've got a, another fast ship. This one is the uh, D3 class with Pan with maximum synergy which we talked about before. His impulse speed is going to be increased by 50%. And then my last one is a Kumari which I'm going to put on a node Hence, Carol being on it, who totally kicks in whenever you are defending, if somebody attacks you first. So when defending in battle against a player, Carol decreases the weapon damage from opponents by 40%. We're also increasing our health because we want to sit on there for a little while. So this is not an optimal crew. This is something I tossed together. I got on here a little late for this. Um, we've got two speed crews. Those are extremely important because it's better to be chased around a zone, still earning points for your, or your uh, alliance in the territory than it is to get blown up and have to get repaired and head right back out. Alright, so my Kamari has made it to Alpha, which is the zone that has the least amount of nodes in it. See, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There's 7 nodes here. They're all full right now. What I'm going to do is go park my Kamari nearby. I want one ship in this zone so that I can come peek into it real quick. Remember, we don't own this territory. We're trying to take it over. It was neutral right now before we're getting started. Now, my other three ships have made it to Beta, the other system in this territory. Yes, there are more than one. And if you see here, we have a much larger... Um, showing in this territory than we do in the other one. And we actually have some people who have come to try to help us take this territory um, because it's important to them that we have this one as well. We have a mutual um, um, territory treaty, so we help them, they help us because it's very advantageous for them that we hold this territory. It's advantageous for us if they hold theirs. So we have struck this deal. You see the friendly designation on them um, during this. They are here to help make sure that if somebody comes in to try to mess this up that we are going to be successful in keeping this. So what you want here usually is what they call a field of purple. This is the one with the most capture nodes, which means the most points can be earned here because you get three points per ship that's on a node. So if you see, we got a bunch of ships on nodes in the north and the south. There's more here, so we have way more ships here. This is the one that we want to keep these guys on nodes as long as possible. If engaged, we are going to run away. We are actually pretty weak. Our other uh, friends are going to come in and kamikaze, hold somebody down, tie them up, and try to take them out while our ships stay in the zone and earn points. And we'll flip and do the other thing for the other ones because remember, uh, your ships that are in that system are going to earn you points. If these other guys aren't actually uh, participating in the takeover, they're not going to accrue points having ships in here, so their ships are, for this, more expendable. So we went ahead and switched these guys to ally status to differentiate them from any other blue ships in here. It stinks that you can't like kind of make them a different shade of purple or something else. They're still blue ships, but that's pretty easy to see that heart there. We are going to get started here in one minute. We're going to go to the embassy. The takeover is starting right now. So you're going to want to go. You can hit this from anywhere. Join takeover and join takeover. It's going to ask us. Yep, here we go. So we're the only alliance in here right now. 45 minutes and here we go. Now, the best takeovers are the most boring takeovers where nobody's coming in to contest them, but that's not what you get all the time. So... We're going to keep an eye out everywhere. Remember, we've got a ship in this other zone to um, make sure that we can pop in and check it real quick since we don't own it. We have no other way to do that. And actually, what I like to do with these when I'm sitting around doing nothing and not on a capture node is mine if we own it. Now, of course, we don't own this one, so you can't mine in a territory that you don't actually have control over. Since we're having an extremely successful territory uh, takeover right now, i.e., there's a bunch of friendlies in the zone and uh, zero unfriendlies as far as we have seen so far. And we are seven-ish minutes in, which means there's still a lot to go, so we could still heat up, but we haven't had any resistance yet. I wanted to go ahead and take a second to shout out to Michael Doherty. Or Doherty. If I said that wrong, I apologize. Correct me in the comments below. Uh, for reminding me to talk about this particular Berserker speed crew in your territory captures. They are really good for just running around and avoid dying and scoring points as he mentioned. So if you'll see, I've got this ship here. This ship is pretty fast. So if somebody else were to come in the zone, uh, the goal, remember, while you're in territory, this is what you want, is you can only have so many Alliance members 
we have other people that are willing to die for us to have this territory, which is exactly what you want out of an ally, and we are willing to do the same for them. So these ships are not expendable, because those are expensive repair bills for um, the level that these guys are at. And now keep in mind when you're looking at these crews, we are not in-game, right? If you look at the levels that we have of people here on these nodes, 26, 30, 27, uh, we are pretty much all throughout, even low teens, or high teens, we're all throughout the 20s right now. This is a fairly new server, and if you'll notice here, even from our allies, the highest level that you can get right now, we're capped at 39 on this server. So, these crews that we have are not what you're going to want to run, ultimately. This is what you can slap together at this uh, stage of play in the game. The server is four, going on five-ish months old, I think, and this is where we are. So if you're on a newer server, you may not be here yet. If you're on a more mature server, you are probably further ahead than this, but that doesn't mean you can't maybe learn from some of this or... Share your wisdom in the comments below. We're always very thankful for the comments that you can provide. We're still fairly new. Most of the people in Live Long and Prosper on US um, 62 Duras, um, even some of these people in these other alliances are fairly new. So anybody who has lived a little longer in this game, if you can provide any, any tips, anything that you've learned, absolutely leave them in the comments below. No one's going to get angry at you for that. Just make sure you're respectful, right? Some additional tips that'll help you in this, of course, if you can get on something like Discord and do some voice chat, that will help you tremendously because then you can have eyes and a direct line of communication um, in each zone. So if something were to happen, you could let everybody else know. Um, and then you want to watch out for that. You want to watch out for warp activity. Somebody might be seeing something you didn't see. You want to go check and see, oh, is, is rumble happening I didn't know about? Did they just see something? So when you, I see a warp, usually what that means is quickly switch to the other zone. Now, one thing I did want to show you is this uh, maneuver here because you earn more points for being alive and exactly zero points for being dead when there's a territory takeover going on. So what I'm going to show you real quick is make sure that you do not have your home base in the zone or this won't work. Uh, if somebody's coming after you and you know you can't win and you're going to die, you can't outrun them. What you're going to want to do real quick is go right here, bam, recall, let it go, five second charge. But as soon as you're out of the system, right, it's going to go, he's going to try to go to the home base. As soon as that warp happens, you're going to stop it. And then as soon as it comes back up, you can come right back into the zone. You're going to choose your warp endpoint pretty carefully. So if we were right here and somebody was chasing us, what you're going to want to do is go find another point to warp in real quick. Bam, go. You want to be alive. <laughs> That's the only way you can score points is you have to be alive. Way better to run. Doesn't make a lot of sense, but like we talked about in another video, straight PvP is not always the best answer, especially if you're fighting somebody who has more power than you. In a lot of cases, more powerful alliances do not have um, as much numbers. They try to keep their roster a little light in case they can bring on more power. But what we've done here we're almost maxed out on our members, and we have people, if you look out real quick, um, as far as power goes, like, for real. We're not super high. We've got uh, 34 is our highest level person in here. And then you start going through the 20s, and then when you get down here towards the bottom, and we got people as low as 8 and 7, right? But those people are not useless. You can bring any ship, as long as it's got a warp range of 20, you can make it out to territory space. Those ships are extremely valuable. They still earn as many points as a maxed out level 50 ship, but you want to try to get everybody in your alliance, and this is the best way to show your team spirit and your participation get everyone in your alliance involved in these if you can now it gets kind of taxing because once you get these we've got 32 minutes 25 seconds left and this will be our fourth territory once we take this over assuming we do anything can happen remember that last third of the takeover is overdrive you get three times as many points somebody could show up right at the end eliminate all of your ships bring in more and they can still win so you want to make sure that you're staying sharp but once you have five territories, it's the max that you can get depending on your alliance level. You are going to be constantly defending. These timers are going to come up, and you're going to keep defending. So it gets kind of exhausting. It does help once you've got it kind of down to make sure that you have a couple people checking it out and then some other people on standby. And of course, when you're conquesting a territory for the first time, you want a giant showing like this. And it is a little bit about morale, not the morale crew, even though we're running that on one of these ships. It is about demoralizing your enemies. So if they think they're going to come into your territory and the first thing they see when they come in and they thought they were going to contest you is all these ships that will show up when you're ready to throw down, that's going to change their map a little bit. They're going to try to go look for a path of least resistance like most people would, most sane people would. So keep that in mind. If you're in trouble, try to get away. If you can't get away, immediately recall. doesn't matter what's going on. As soon as you've got out, wait for the charging to stop. You stop it and it'll take you to whatever the next zone is on your um, warp path back to your base. That's what recall does, is takes you back to your base, of course. You're going to stop it, it's going to stop you at the next stop on that warp chain back to your base, and then you're going to go bam, right back in. And you can sit there and you can go top to bottom, bottom to top. You can actually cross a zone in some cases because territory warp times are so small. You can end up warping out down here, 
stopping and coming back in and you can cross to the other side of this system faster by doing that with the five second charge warp out a couple seconds to get the new thing five second charge and back sometimes that's faster than trying to go all the way across a zone so keep that in mind if you're trying to close space or trying to just stay alive for end points get out back in out back in gorilla warping that's the name i forgot <laughs> just a second ago i forgot that's what we call this maneuver that we're doing here gorilla warping when somebody's after you and you go bam recall and you get the heck out of there charges five seconds you are out ideally they're like swiping at the air and it's super comical but when they come out bam you're gonna stop then when it comes back in i know we just did this but this is what it's called gorilla warping and this is why because we just came out down here now we're going to go <clears throat> swing all the way up to the top of the system and go and see this we are very very quickly gonna go zoom and zoom back up to the top of this it should not take very long see 18 seconds and we're back to the top so I did want to mention real quick though that's not the only reason for, for doing this cut here is that it really helps you if you can at least minimize these docks if you don't have anything going on um, definitely helps to do the uh, combat UI where it hides all that other stuff for now while you're out here it, you can claim those just later or come out every now and again and claim them you see I did that four minutes ago just about so you can still do that especially when it's boring but what you really don't want to do when there's a territory going on is like we've been doing is getting very complacent and chatting back and forth and not paying attention and hopping around in menus especially if you're not on voice chat if you're not on discord or something similar so that somebody can alert you that somebody showed up and there's a battle going on and you don't run away then kind of defeats the purpose so you really want to stay alert i know it's hard to do see we have somebody warping so we're going to go check real quick and see did they see something over here it takes a minute to load the ships and sync up nope nothing that's what you're going to want to do it really helps to have at least one ship in each of the zones um but what you really want to go and put the majority of your forces like 80 percent if you can afford to do so in the zone that has more capture nodes you can afford to lose the one that has the least amount because especially with the showing that we have if everybody from here fell back to our other zone i mean we've got so much purple in here as long as we maintain all the capture nodes and we have all our other ones here then pretty much any other alliance can show up and sit in that zone they can't earn the same amount of points especially this far on that we can especially once you get to overdrive and our capture nodes are getting three times as much with twice the capture nodes Theirs are only getting um, half as much as we are able to get. That was really math. What? <laughs> We've got double the nodes. Even in the overdrive, we're still going to be earning points faster. That was the easier way to say that. Why didn't I just say that? Man, we just missed it. We did have some sort of visitor over here right where this guy is. Don't know who it was. Um, they're not marked with any kind of diplomacy. It's so they're neutral for us. They're level 19 survey. Maybe they were just mapping it out and they were like, uh-oh, what's going on here? I did try to see if maybe they were coming to our other territory. Haven't seen them yet. Uh, now they're level 19 and of course i am uh ops 29 and usually that's way outside of the range but one quick thing to mention is we even have our guy down here he's level 13 and a jellyfish right so in territories the restrictions on player combat gone a level 50 can attack a level 13 if they can both get out to i mean a level 50 should have trouble getting out here a level whatever level you are when you can first get out here you can get attacked by anybody so don't just be like oh look it's like a level 30 and i'm level 13 no they can still steamroll you get out of the way keep running all right, here we go. You see the little lightning bolt that we have up here in the top right corner. I know you can't really see my mouse for some reason, but we've got this up here. This is overdrive, so our points are now going to go up way faster. We don't have anybody else. We just had another visitor. People get curious sometimes. They want to warp in and see what's going on, see who's taking over a territory. Because when you're on the map, you can actually see these symbols um, to see that somebody is trying to take over these. So you can pop in, see what's going on. Uh, if you're one of these guys connected on a flight path, or not flight path, but a warp path, you are probably a little curious and see who your new neighbors are um we do the same thing if somebody looks like they're moving in somewhere nearby we're gonna go check out what's going on sometimes it's just fun to see what's going on but expect your ship to get blown up if you show up in a territory on it just saying if, if nobody said hey please come to this territory and you go in and expect to get blown up if you're not quick oh that's right one other thing i will say is that sometimes you'll have people showing up late and be like oh no where's the takeover so I mean, they can look on their map and kind of see what's going on. But if they don't, then you can send the coordinates. One thing you really don't want to do, I know this is mostly what you do want to do in takeovers and some advice, especially for um, lower, mid, range, whatever um, players like we are. Um, make sure that when you are posting the coordinates to the takeover you're doing, you do it in Alliance chat. You don't want to send that in Galaxy chat or you're going to get all sorts of people showing up. So as we said, we're winding down right now. We have 1 minute, 27 seconds left. So what we've determined since we have so many people here willing to help us out which is really awesome the blue ships in this zone that since they're not involved in the takeover they're not earning any points so we are actually pulling our purple ships back to the nuclei as we call the center of your system 
so they can stay in play and earn points longer. And we're going to keep these ally ships out here that aren't earning points no matter what. They're just here to run interference around the outside. So as you see, we've started pulling these ships in. That's kind of what you want to do if you have backup. So make sure that you are keeping your points in play as long as possible. That's why you guerrilla warp. That's why you run away. That's why you do whatever you can to keep points or ships in the zone earning points. That's the most important thing. It doesn't matter who's most powerful. It matters who has the most points, which usually happens because you have more ships or they're on capture nodes. You can still win with less ships on capture nodes, but it's really hard to do. All right, here we are. 10 seconds left on the most boring and successful uh, takeover in history. This is exactly what you want. No contest. Your ships don't die. You get the territory you're after. And here we go. Bam, victory. That's exactly what you want to see. We now captured this territory. When we go out, it is purple and linked to the rest of our territory. Beautiful. Thanks for watching. We can go ahead and drill down into some more actual crews after this. This was just a smattering of stuff thrown together real quick in the heat of this. I had like two minutes to get everything ready before we needed to be in the zone or the systems for the takeover. Hopefully you get some use out of this. If you don't, lay your criticisms down below. Whatever you have to add to make us stronger, we'll take it. I'm not mad about it. So thanks for watching. If you got this far, appreciate it. Live long and prosper. We will catch you next time. Okay, wait. I'm not done yet. I just realized. So we did just take over this territory. We have seven days before it comes up again. So this is the exact time if you're going to activate the services that you want to do it. You get a full seven days out of it. You don't want to do something like we've got our next takeover coming up. It looks like in two days and 23 hours, you want to buy this now. That's full price to only get it for like less than half the time. So if you're going to go ahead and buy the services, you want to do it right after a takeover like this. One other big piece of advice from some um, higher end players when it comes to defending your territory or taking over if you do see a discovery enter that um, system that you're trying to defend that is priority number one you want to kill it you want to make sure they can't uber in and just start flooding that system with ships all of a sudden so if you see a discovery it has to die immediately the next priority ship would probably be the sarcophagus because it can do a lot of damage it's built for territory takeovers so if you see a discovery and then second priority of the sarcophagus kill it kill it with fire okay i think that's really the end of the video now thank you very much live long and prosper bye hey we hope you liked the video like comment subscribe all the usual jazz helps us grow the channel but we do have a direct method to support the channel down below in the paypal description but all the indirect methods are perfectly fine for us share it with other people you think might get some value out of it help them grow those alliance mates server mates that you care for and your real life friends so maybe they'll come join us in this awesome game that we all love Thank you very much for being here. We really appreciate it. Live long and prosper, and we'll catch you next time. Oh, it's so bad for your knees. I will say that um, I lost it. What was I saying? Hello? You know, recall. Out of the system. Stop. Well, okay, that's wrong. That's wrong.